Well, the great Minnesota get-together is also a great place for snot. You heard that right. Snot. <laughs> University of Minnesota team is taking its research on the road and taking up a scientific collection right here at the fairgrounds. Our Corn Hoggard explains how the fair food is helping them encourage snot donations. This might sound silly, but what they're doing is genetic sequencing on corn dogs. And once people figure out how simple that can be, they might be more inclined to dig deep and donate the nasal swabs researchers need to study respiratory illnesses in Minnesota. Even science is on a stick at the Minnesota State Fair. Yeah. University of Minnesota researchers brought sophisticated genetic sequencing technology to the Driven to Discover booth to do DNA analysis on, of all things, corn dogs. So we're using it to determine what animals make up the dog portion of the corn dog, what plants make up the corn or the batter part of the corn dog. Dr. Christopher Fox sequencing made simple serves as a bridge to a more complicated study. We're in an exciting time where the technology has evolved in such a way that we can use the same device both to tell us what kind of meat is in a corn dog and to tell you uh, what, what virus is making you sick. Dr. Beth Thielen's study is called Got Snot? We want to find those people in Minnesota who have snot that they're willing to share with us. The pediatrics professor and her research assistants are recruiting volunteers to submit nasal swaps so they can use the same genetic sequencing technology to track respiratory illnesses like COVID or the flu and maybe even spot new ones. And they say the fair is the perfect population sample with people from all walks of life. This is really a slice of the Minnesota population and that's what we're aiming for, is we want our study to be able to you know, speak to what's going on in Minnesota. By the way, the genetic sequencing on the corn dog shows that the only things in the corn dog are the exact things on the label. In other words, if it says it's all beef, there's no pork. At the State Fair, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.